which hormone is known to increase heart rate and cardiac output during stress a insulin b glucagon c epinephrine that is adrenaline d cortisol and the correct answer is c epinephrine adrenaline epinephrine also known as adrenaline is the hormone that increases heart rate and cardiac output during stress it is released by the adrenal glands in response to stressful situations this hormone prepares the body for a fight or flight response by enhancing blood flow to muscles and vital organs Which of the following ions plays a crucial role in the electrical activity of the heart? A sodium, B potassium, C calcium, D all of the above. And the correct answer is D all of the above. The ions that play a crucial role in the electrical activity of the heart are sodium, potassium and calcium. Sodium and calcium ions are crucial for the initiation and propagation of the action potential that triggers heart contractions whereas potassium ions are essential for repolarizing the heart cells helping to reset electrical state of the heart after each beat Which heart sound is associated with the closure of the atrioventricular walls? A S1 lub B S2 dub C S3 D S4 And the correct answer is A S1 lub The lub sound known as the first heart sound is associated with the closure of atrioventricular walls that is the mitral and tricuspid valves which of the following best describes the location of the heart a in the left lung b in the right lung c in the mediastinum d in the abdomen and the correct answer is c in the mediastinum the heart is located in the mediastinum a central compartment in the thoracic cavity the mediastinum houses the heart along with other vital structures such as the esophagus trachea thymus and other major blood vessels Which component of blood is primarily responsible for immune response? A red blood cells, B white blood cells, C platelets, D plasma. And the correct answer is B white blood cells. white blood cells also known as leukocytes are responsible for protecting your body from infection as part of your immune system white blood cells circulate in your blood and respond to injury or illness Which of the following best describes the function of capillaries in the cardiovascular system? A to carry oxygenated blood from the heart to the body, B to carry deoxygenated blood from the body to the heart, C to facilitate the exchange of nutrients, gases and waste products, D to store blood and regulate blood pressure. And the correct answer is C to facilitate the exchange of nutrients gases and waste products Capillaries are tiny blood vessels with thin walls that allow oxygen nutrients and waste products to pass between the blood and the body's cells
This exchange is crucial for delivering essential substances to cells and removing waste products from them. Which of the following is the outermost layer of the heart wall? A. Endocardium B. Myocardium C. Epicardium D. Pericardium And the correct answer is C. Epicardium The outermost layer of the heart wall is the epicardium. Its function is to provide a protective layer and to produce lubricating fluid that reduces friction between the heart and surrounding structures during heartbeats. Which component of the electrocardiogram represents ventricular depolarization? A. P wave B. QRS complex C. T wave D. U wave And the correct answer is B. QRS complex The QRS complex in an electrocardiogram represents ventricular depolarization. This phase signifies the electrical activity that causes the ventricles to contract and pump blood out to the body and lungs. What is the primary function of the lymphatic system in relation to the cardiovascular system? A. To transport oxygen B. To remove carbon dioxide C. To return excess tissue fluid to the bloodstream D. To produce red blood cells And the correct answer is C. To return excess tissue fluid to the bloodstream The lymphatic system collects excess fluid from tissues and returns it to the bloodstream helping to maintain balance in the body. This process prevents tissue swelling and ensures that blood volume and pressure are regulated properly within the cardiovascular system. Which of the following statements about veins is true? A. They always carry oxygenated blood B. They have thicker walls than arteries C. They have walls to prevent backflow of blood D. They carry blood away from the heart And the correct answer is C. They have walls to prevent backflow of blood Veins have walls that prevent the backflow of blood ensuring it moves toward the heart these walls are crucial, especially in the legs, to counteract the effects of gravity and help maintain proper circulation. Which part of the brain regulates heart rate? A. Cerebellum B. Hypothalamus C. Medulla oblongata D. Thalamus And the correct answer is C. Medulla oblongata The medulla oblongata, a part of the brain stem, regulates heart rate. Medulla oblongata controls the autonomic nervous system, which adjusts the heart rate in response to the body's needs. The volume of blood pumped out of the heart's left ventricle during each systolic cardiac contraction is called A. Cardiac output B. Stroke volume C. End diastolic volume D. Ejection fraction And the correct answer is B. Stroke volume Stroke volume is the amount of blood pumped by the left ventricle of the heart with each beat. It is a key factor in determining cardiac output, which is the overall blood flow from the heart.
Which of the following is the term for the lower chambers of the heart? A. Atria B. Ventricles C. Septa D. Walls And the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.